welcome to my channel. Welcome to a sassy patch. Uh, unbagging, unbagging. Ooh, sorry, get my teeth together. Uh, sassy Devils is from my um, local kind of stitching people. And Melissa and Carolyn come up with, or actually, I'm maybe, maybe it's not Carolyn. Anyway, Melissa comes up with these with the rest of the girls. And all this purple excitement comes out once a month. Uh, I think purple was actually the theme this month too. So let's see if we can get some order to the chaos. That's six, seven, four, three, two, uh, five. 10, 11, there's magnets in here somewhere. Floss, as always, and 12. Okay, and then there's some goodies in there. There's letters in here. There's my piece of jigsaw. There's my purple pouch contents thingamajiggy. Welcome to the thing. And a blurb on Richmond. Um, so, thank you for ordering the purple sassy pouch. If you're new, welcome. If you're a current subscriber, thank you for your continued support. You can subscribe two, three at a time. And after that, you've got to renew your subscription. As fellow lovers of cross stitch, we uh, really hope you enjoy the collection of goodies we've put into your uh, put together for you and would love to hear your feedback or suggestions for future pouches. There will be a spoiler alert thread on Facebook. I haven't looked. <coughs> Excuse me. You will find in your pouch a little piece of tazzy. This is your puzzle piece that you will receive in random order in each pouch. Once you have completed the puzzle, please post a photo of the completed puzzle on our Facebook page or Instagram or email if you don't use either of those, and we will send you an extra surprise. Woohoo! Uh, Melissa, Joy, and Juanita. Okay, we'll put the Richmond cheat here. Now, uh, a few videos ago, where's number one? Um, I actually took you to Richmond and we had a look at the river and we fed the ducks, Sophie and I, and then we went to the shop, um, the lolly shop, and um, Sophie shared her lollies with Daddy and I. So, yeah, I'm missing one piece of puzzle. Okay, which is very frustrating because now I've got two pieces of these. Okay, so there is my Tazzy. And then we've got that one, and that one, and that one, and that one, and oh, I'm still missing the top right. Okay. Well, I'm just going to have to keep getting the pouch. I don't know if I have to have the same colour, or if it just needs to be the same shape. <laughs> I'll get there. I'll get there. Oh, dear. Okay, so, ooh, pretty little bag. So, number one. Is this number one? Nope. Nope. Where's number one? Why have I got no number one? Is that number one? No, that's number nine. Ooh. I don't seem to have a number one. That's my optional fabric. That's my pattern. Maybe this is number one. It doesn't say. Okay, we'll treat that as number one, and we'll, the optional fabric is my option add-on. Okay, so let's do this as number one. This is just my little thank you card, and it's going to be a little, I would imagine, purple card this time around. Um, Richmond is an old, old town. It's very pretty. Very, very pretty. Oh, look at that. Sassy. And it just says, to Pippa, thank you from Sassy. Um, Look at the glitter and the bling, and yeah, there you can see Tazzy um, written out. So, sassy purple tile. These are made specially for the girls, usually. Oh, looky. It says Tazzy Sassy Devil. Find the padlock lane design on Facebook or Etsy. So, they're the people who do it so it's a featured tile it's actually Australia and then there's Tassie down the bottom interesting tile style pattern of the map of Australia 
I won't show you that. Um, interesting. And it takes three different colours of fluff. So that's the pattern. Okay, I'll pop it back to protect it into the bag. Let's see if I can do it easily. It's biting me. That would be like a cut. <laughs> yeah, all the noise. Okay, number two is small. I love the paper. So you've got spots, stripes, and solids. Let me in. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Japanese Mill Hill. <laughs> so they're, they're the good ones. Japanese Mill Hill purple beads um oh lordy i haven't used beads yet but there are beads in my dark queen of the sea kit so i'm looking forward to getting used to those i do actually have um bead needles though the long skinny ones that the whole thing is basically an eye of a needle uh to make things easier when it does come to using them so looking forward to that too because that's all going to be a learning curve oh the girls were talking about getting these these are the magnetic um keep your floss kind of thing handy so there are magnets in each of these and then they stick and okay they're not huge but for small projects or just keeping things together um, even clipping paper onto something else they're cool really really handy to have so there's those 10 11 okay usually we get two lots of floss i'm only seeing one this is scissors um now when i was on my retreat last week uh, no not, not last weekend two <gasps> oh no Two weekends ago, I was at the retreat with the girls and um, I got a pair of polka dot scissors. Well, now I've got a pair of um, stainless steel. Uh, um, I'm trying to think of the treatment. Um, anodized. So it's got the rainbowy colors. Anodized unicorn scissors, 100 mil awesome now they don't have a protector but they don't look super super sharp a friend of mine sent me a message the other day saying she did a she made a boo-boo and she stabbed herself with her needle with her scissors because the points on her scissors were so sharp the sharp scissors while brilliant and amazing and being able to get into the smallest places are like dealing with these tweezers they're treacherous they're like going kill you on sight kind of thing like the silence in doctor who don't mind me. I'm a little bit obsessed at the moment. Okay, we have a pouch. We have um, studs. We have a needle pouch. How simple and cute is that? Cal. Cal. <laughs> it's purple. It actually is coming across as quite blue. That's really cool. A little needle pouch uh six i don't know what this is it's a very strange shape the girls must wrap so many of these things you can if you're australian and you want to get in on this you can they don't ship to australia to out of international those out of towners they don't ship internationally for this they do keep it just domestic australia this is Presencia, I think that's the right name, Finca, it's a number five tex, textile 113 of two, um, it's made in Spain, uh, I can't tell if it's a silk, oh here it is, 
100% oh gosh it's tiny writing 10 grams pearl 41 meters um Igi Egip Sio Egip Sio um 10 grams so that's a pearl cotton now I haven't had pearl cotton before hence my not having a clue what the hell I'm looking at so please excuse me and I was saying the over a spa wrong too so Melissa um there you go with the label but it's purple and again it's coming up blue on the camera trust me it's purple um where am I going seven this is very soft this feels like a mask I have had a mask before oh no it's not it's a matching thingamajiggy hang on I'm just gonna dump it is like an ort pouch so it's not gonna stand up on its own oh my goodness um at the stitching group this weekend there was an ort pouch that somebody had made and it stood up with a kind of collar around it oh I wonder if I could do that with this um but it stood up on its own and then it twisted itself shut um this could actually stand I've popped the bottom up and you know I could throw my bits and pieces in there like that you know because it will hold and then you know when I'm done pull the bottom out and it will close up if it's meant to be for orts but look it matches that's cool uh eight now there was something magnetic or metal in one of these <sighs> i'm not going to get into this i'm going to struggle with this there's spikes tweezers tweezers not my crafty tweezers oh they're polka dots but they've got a oop what on earth it's got a light no okay so there's a guard on there and there's a light and it clicks on and stays on so you can then free up your fingers oh that's really good so you can pick out your floss how cool is that okay that little guard's going back on and it's polka dots that's so cool that's all kinds of cool now it's made in china uh remove car power cap before use power button cap before use press button on turn on and off and it's ready to use batteries included that is really really cool it's completely different from anything i've ever seen this is our floss it's got to be purple <laughs> i hope i didn't wrap the tag i think i did i'm naughty i think the tape goes all the way around so let me get the tag There we go. It's a silks for you. It's purple. Oh my lordy. Um, it's 10 meters of silks for you. Purple and oh my goodness. The variegation through that. <laughs> Again, bloody camera is not picking up purple. It's showing as blue. Seriously, it's purple. But it's got light and it's got the dark. And you can actually see that variegation there. That's gorgeous. I love the silks for you. Uh, silk we are hoping we can get it in a thread club um, the girls were talking about it at the weekend that would be awesome and um, there's an awful lot of colors though and they dye particularly to order as well um, if you have custom orders now magnet Ooh, it's a square cover minder so it's a resin I don't know which one of the girls is doing resin. Resin or it's a tile. I think it's a piece of resin with glitter on it. And that card is just to hold it. If 
but yeah, it's a cover reminder. Nice good size magnet on the back. So there's that. Now, 11. There's a ring. It's a, it's a ring. It's a key ring ring. It's a key ring ring. Why have we got a key ring ring? Make a piece of cardboard. Uh, make a tassel. Make a piece of cardboard to your desired length. Wrap thread around cardboard 20 times. Thread tapestry needle with 30 mil of thread and tie top tassel snugly. Remove needle. Le yeah. Okay. Um, if you're adding a ring, slip it into the thread and position it in the center of the ring when you've tied the thing. Thread the needle. Tie the knot, trim the tassel ends. Okay, so it's the hardware to make a key ring tassel. Cool. I'm not making it out of the silk. Ooh, I wonder what else I could use though. I've got lots of wool from the darn good yarn kind of stuff and other yarns. So that's kind of cool. This is heavy. Ooh, Ooh it's rock candy. Um, purple and. <laughs> It's purple and orange. It's purple and orange. I wonder what flavor it's going to be. That's potentially from Richmond Lolly Shop. They make candy like this. <laughs> it's all kind of cool, but it's purple and orange. Oh my God. My optional fabric extra. Melissa actually dyes these um, herself. Right. Oh, that's purple. I actually got two pieces on the weekend. And one of them I actually chose was purple as well. I think I got a pink one in my bag and then I got the purple one. That's cool because you've got a heavy blob there, heavy blob there, but then this gorgeous white mottle through that bit. That's gorgeous. Now it's a 16 count Ada, color fast and it's not guaranteed, which is fine. Um, and it's square ish. It's actually um, 45. It's 45 by kind of 50 centimeters. I don't know what that is in old money. Um, it seems to be a bit more square than a fat quarter. I think it's a fat quarter. It seems to be the kind of done thing. So it could just be the way it's looking to me. How cool is that? Now, Richmond, the blurb on Richmond was initially established as a pioneering district with Van Diemen's Land, Penal Colony, Richmond later developed as a police district. There was a jail there. Governor George Arthur appointed several paid magistrates to oversee penal discipline in 1827. Uh, Arthur implemented this measure to increase penal order, punishing crime. Um, why are we getting this info though? The Grass Tree Hill and Governor's Arthur, Governor Arthur's Road leading into Richmond was built between 1833 and 1838 by groups of convicts known as chain gangs. I've shown you the bridge in that video. They also laid kangaroo traps as a way of supplementing rations. Kangaroo meat is really, really beautiful. It's lean. Some men refused to attend church, refused to labour, and there was a rebellion led by five prisoners to, who wielded their picks against authorities. Many of the Georgian-style homes or buildings which are present in the township today were constructed by these convict gangs and they've got the convict stone hatching through it. The name was given to the coal as the Coal River District. Lieutenant Governor William Sor Sorrell, there's a town called Sorrell, James Backhouse, I think there's a Backhouse Lane, reported Richmond had a courthouse, a jail, a windmill and about 30 houses in 1832. And the foundation for St. Luke's was laid in 1834 by Governor Arthur and it's considered one of the finest churches. I think Hubby wanted to have a look at that one when we were there. Ooh, it's passion fruit candy. Right, so we've got the pattern is number one. Right, okay. So the pattern with the tile and Australia and Tasmania on it is number one. The beads from Mill Hill were number two. The magnetic cable ties were number three. The scissors were number four. The needle book was number five. The presentia pearl five, one, five to one ball was number six. It is an ort bag. That's what it's meant to be. The tweezers were number eight. The silk for you 
exclusive color skein in the purple. Um, the needle minder tile, uh, make your own tassel pack. Um, but again, have to get the tassel material. I'm, I'm not using the silk or the pearl for either of those. Um, the passion fruit rock candy, a little piece of Tazzy is 13 and the optional extra being the dyed fabric. So that's everything. And I identified most of it pretty correctly. Woohoo. <laughs> Go me. Um, so if you're in Australia and you would like to take part in this, you don't know what you're going to get in your bag. It is themed. Um, so this one is the purple theme. Um, the next one is, I think it's a bi-monthly actually. So it's every two months these get sent out. So it's not crazy. This is awesome. Such a cool surprise um, to get that. You can actually detach the lighty thing. Um, but that's cool. Having these little handmade notions is really clever, cool and brilliant. Um, as I said, with the little Oort bag, tuck the bum up and you can make it stand. Um, the beads, I have no idea what I'm going to use with beads. Um, but yeah, exciting. Like I've got beads for... As I said, the Dark Queen, I don't know if any of those purples will fit. They're like, I've got the whole kit for Dark Queen, so it's kind of specific for the things. Um, but yeah, wait and see. This is cool. This is really, really cool. So if you're interested, the link will be in the description. Send a message to the Sassy Patch. I think you have to fill in a Google form for it, to, to be honest. And you may need to go on a wait list while you wait for somebody to drop off. And um, why would you drop? This is so fun. And the town of Richmond. Um, there's nothing specifically Richmond in here. Oh, the, the lollies might be, but there's nothing kind of showing you the town. It's a beautiful town. I will try and link here in the eye the video that I have my Richmond um, trip in. Uh, and it was literally just feeding the ducks and then taking you alongside the bridge. Um, so you can go check that out if you would like to. It's a gorgeous village, town, town. Um, major, major tourist attraction these days. Um, it's the old sandstone bricks. It's red brick, you know, in traditional keeping. It's just beautiful. And it's in a gorgeous, gorgeous wine valley. So it's just hills and green and actually it's quite brown in the summer. Um, so yeah. Purple goodness. All right. Thank you for joining me and I will see you around on the tubes with more flossy kind of stuff. Bye for now. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand.